Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I wanted to discuss one of the best screen recorders I've ever come across, which is called OBS Studio or Open Broadcaster Software. And it is absolutely 100% free and it is great. I just want to talk about what it is, why is it good, and uh, let's just get started immediately. It's a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. And the best part, it works for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Although for Mac, I usually just use QuickTime because it's a lot easier and it's already there. But uh, if you give this program maybe 10 minutes to get used to, you'll be very well off. So to start off, you've got uh, live performance. You can have many number of screens. You've got an audio mixer and you've got lots of options, everything. There's so many things you can do here. And I'm just skimming through this to try to remember why I love it. I use it every day to make my videos. But uh, let's show you exactly what it is by switching to my small screen. As you can see here, it might look a bit confusing. I can actually turn off the phone screen for now. But essentially, it's a very nice screen recorder with a nice uh, preview window. And it's a bit confusing here, I know, but uh, it's the best I can do. And actually, maybe if I make it a little bit smaller, it should be all right. But down here, you've got the scenes. I've got a small screen and a big screen, which I can change between. Then you've got displays. So when I recorded my, uh, my app review, all you have to do is click on this eye icon and you can get this really nice phone view. So that's where I put the screen inside. And finally, the phone itself, just by tapping on a button, I can bring up my phone, which is on my other screen. So I can also drag it where I want without interrupting my current screen. And this is a lot of customization that you can do with this program. That's why it's so great. You can add new things such as a media source, text or browser, whatever you want. I usually just go for image and uh, window capture. And then you've got the audio mixer. So if I want to record audio from my desktop, which usually I have Spotify recording, I just have to tap on this, otherwise I have my microphone that's always recording here, and that is great and easy, and you can have many different audio sources, or as many as you need. Then I haven't even tested the scene transitions, it doesn't really matter to me. And then you've got the controls here where you can start streaming, start recording. I don't know what a studio mode is, so let's just click on it. Uh, interesting. Okay. Ah, so it just shows without all the, uh, the special items the red lines. Okay, but forget about that. And then we can go to settings. And here you have so much to deal with. I actually got a little bit overwhelmed. One of the nice things I believe you have uh, many languages. So that's one thing that's really nice. Then you've got a dark theme, a light theme, some rackney theme. You've got uh, output options, source alignment snapping. And there's just so much to cover. So I don't really know what to talk about here besides that you can customize anything you want, such as hotkeys, there's a hotkey for everything. Video, I have it at 1920 because that's my smaller monitor and the bigger monitor is just too too big for video recording on YouTube. You guys wouldn't see anything. And you've got audio options. I only have, I believe, one device, so it doesn't really matter. And outputs, how high the resolution and everything you want for your files. And you can also choose where you want to stream it. If you have a Twitch account, apparently you can do it also to YouTube and all these other ones. I don't know what any of them are. But yeah, I'm going to end this. Uh, no, I'm. But yeah, all in all, I think this is one of the best screen recorders you can find on the internet for free. That's open source. And I 100% recommend it if you want to record some tutorials. I'm not really so certain about how it is for gameplay. But for tutorials so far, it has been great. As you can see right here, the frame rate's amazing how it covers the screens is amazing the ease to change between screens while you're recording is just phenomenal and finally i can always bring this phone screen up whenever i want i can adjust the size of it we can even zoom in incredibly far which is not i mean incredibly close which is not really that nice but you can do it if you want who cares but anyway, thanks for watching this video. If there's any other video you'd like me to create, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to look at it and do some research into it. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.